friend, and you don't think the party's a mistake, do you? No, Rod. This party will be the most exciting ever given. Rupert! I... I was beginning to think you weren't going to show. You know me better than that. Uh, uh, Mrs. Atwater, may I present Mr. Rupert Cadell? These hands will bring you great fame. Delighted. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kentley, how do you do, Mr. Kentley? Well, Branton, the notion that murder is an art which a few superior beings should be allowed to practice. Rupert Cadell, the housemaster at Somerville. I used to be. Then you must have taught my son, David. Oh, well, flatter me. How do you do? Hello, John. Oh, Miss Walker. I bet you're going to play a foul trick on all of us. How'd you know? Brandon's spoken of you. Did he do me justice? Do you deserve justice? Well, well, little Kenneth Lawrence, how you've grown. Hello. Uh, oh, now, come, Kenneth. School's out. You can say it. Personally, I would prefer to have cut a throat week. Rupert, you're the same as ever. It's awfully good to see you again. Why? <laughs> well, <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> didn't speak to David at all today. No. Only a piece of rope, Philip. An ordinary household article. Why hide it? Well, neither Philip nor I have talked to David since the day we invited him to the party. Now the fun begins. I saw you display your handiwork. What a pity. In another moment, you might have been strangling each other instead of a chicken. You are those men of such intellectual and cultural superiority that they're above the traditional moral concepts. Good and evil, right and wrong, were invented for the ordinary average man, the inferior man, because he needs them. Cat and mouse, cat and mouse. Hello. Honey, which is the cat and which is the mouse? If I may. You may, and I do. Think of the problems it would solve. Unemployment, poverty. You reserve for those few who are really superior individuals. And the victims, inferior beings whose lives are unimportant anyway. Did you think you were God, Brandon?